Welcome to another episode of Grapes Wine TV. I'm Steve Gordon, and I'm with John Kaplan, owner of GrapesWine.com. So uh, what are you going to tell us about today, John? Steve, good to see you. Good to uh, see you. Today we're going to talk about Bordeaux, probably the most famous wine region in the world, um, and definitely the most collected. More people have Bordeaux in their cellars than pretty much anything else today. And uh, Bordeaux is really the pinnacle of full-bodied dry red wine. Uh, Bordeaux is, has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, proven itself over hundreds of years, and has classified their chateaus or wineries hundreds of years ago. So you could always get a pretty good idea of quality from these classifications. The, the best on what we call the left bank uh, are obviously your first growths. Um, on your right bank, uh, you've got the great wines of Saint Emilion and Pomerol. And the way to really, simple way to, to, to know and recognize Bordeaux, everyone thinks Bordeaux tastes the same, they taste very, very different, depending on where they come from. And the, the easiest way to, to identify how Bordeaux works is you have a, a river running down the middle called the Gironde, and everything to the right, on the right bank of that river, are Merlot-based wines. Merlot does much better on the right bank. It thrives and makes better wines, and everything's Merlot-based. So the wines, they have a high preponderance of Merlot and Cabernet Franc. Um, everything on the left bank is Cabernet-based, um, and a lot of those wines are what we, we know and adore, things like Chateau Lafitte, Chateau Mouton, um, great houses like Pichon Lalande, Pichon Baron, Poyac, the different regions. And you also get some great values today from Bordeaux. Um, I definitely recommend looking for Cru Bourgeois in top vintages. Uh, Bordeaux is very vintage sensitive. Um, a lot of French wines are because they do not propagate or cultivate. They just let nature take its course. So great vintages, let's tell you from, from recent times, are 2010 was spectacular, 2009 was unbelievable. 2005 was incredible. Great year. Great, great year. And then looking at 89, 90, and then we kind of go back to 85, I would say 82, are really, really good. Uh, but that's not to say you can't make great wines in every vintage, because you can. Uh, but people who collect Bordeaux definitely tend to focus on uh, great vintages to lay down. And then you look for vintages that are not quite as good, that are possibly drinking earlier to buy to drink and they're normally better value. Uh, but definitely, if you like big red wine, you have to understand, get into Bordeaux. If you love Napa Cabernet, a lot of these guys are trying to emulate and, and make great Bordeaux. And um, highly recommend Bordeaux, love them. We've got some great examples on the table. Uh, today we're tasting the Chateau de Fusal from the Grave, uh, where the famous Haubriand comes from. Uh, Cabernet based um, and one of my all-time favorite values for Cabernet based Bordeaux. So enjoy Steve. Cheers. It's good to see you again. Good to see you. And of course if you have any questions you can always speak to your own personal wine advisor. Mm -hmm. You can dial 1-800-434-WINE. That's 1-800-434-WINE. Or you can uh, look us up on the web at grapeswine.com. On Facebook it's also grapeswine.com. And for those of you who have cell phones and want to be part of our VIP special member club, just text the word WINE, W-I-N-E, to the number 57711. That's text WINE to 57711 to get VIP updates and specials. John, the bouquet on this was absolutely beautiful. It's wonderful. I can't wait to taste this. Cheers. Cheers. Good to, Good to see, see you. you. Thank you. Ooh.